Good evening, friends. Good evening, humans. Did you ever observe a flock of birds or a school of fish? Did you observe, a, let's say, a school of dolphins jumping around, being happy? Do you notice who's the lead in their flock or in their school? It seems when the ducks are flying, let's say, down south, there is a one at the front. But if you watch very carefully, you'll notice that very, very often they change. They change the position, so it's always another bird at the front, breaking the air barrier and being the one who actually using a lot of her energy to create some kind of nice vortex behind. Same with a fish. How come fish just in a millisecond they change direction and they all change direction going exactly where they go. And you don't see really like a, a lead character there. In all of the creatures on this planet. In all of them. Except one. Humans. We cherish our leaders. Our superior entity who is going to bring us into the new something. Well, quite, quite a mo moronic approach. Because creation didn't intend like this. We did. We as a faulty, faulty humans decided to be a leaders. We are the saviors of this planet, yet we are the most dangerous species here. So title, based on this little intro, goes like this. Superiority, the devious trick of false gods. You know this, in the false sentence, it's plural of gods. This is what we have here. We still have. Every religious god or entity is separate than God from another religion. Or Archangel is separate from a group from Mount Shasta, underground, above the ground, crystal cities, they, all the gods reside. Yet, in my perspective, a big falsehood is happening here. Because we are building our existence of humans on false premises of supremacy. Supremacy is the key energetic aspect of all our problems. Did God create it? Left guy to be superior over the right guy. Black guy over the yellow guy. English-speaking guy over Chinese-speaking guy or girl? Did God created a girl to be over on top the man? Maybe in bed it works very nicely, but in the nature it is not above. Or vice versa, there is no man who is above any woman. Literally speaking, Energetically speaking, absolutely the same. Yet, gods, the false gods of our very faulty history that we so cherish and we assuming that this is the only truth we have to know, are teaching us completely different. We're building monuments for them. We're building our almost daily behavior to fit their needs. So if they want more food for their misdeeds, on Sundays they say you don't work, you go worship. But not want to tell you that even if you go working, you're still worshiping them. So where your energy goes? 
when you're working? Where is your energy goes when you're praying into the church, into the mosque? Where this energy goes? Where your precious energy goes when you go and sell yourself for material goods like fake dollars, like fake euros. How to avoid being fake? Stop being superior against everybody and anybody. Stop behaving superior over nature. Stop behaving superior over animals because you're still eating them and you're assuming this is what they are there for. And many conversations I have with people who consistently persisting that animals are there created by God so we can survive. We like are humans. Not really. Not at all. Yet you cannot go in a, in a same discussion because they are having a superiority complex. You cannot tell them they are same as monkeys. If you call somebody pig of the human kind, you're actually insulting a pig. Because pig would never eat another pig. Yet human eats everything. Human abuse everything. Just because it thinks or she thinks she's better. She's something higher. Well, not to squander it too much yet. Go in church, any church. Why these priests are sitting on a pedestal? Why our not so lovely Pope sits on the high chairs or when he speaks from the, the 16th chapel, we have to all admire, like twist our neck all to the top. Why? Because this is a complex God or God complex, let us say. They just set themselves as better, higher, more powerful, yet they are so weak without your worshipping, without you being so blindfolded with all the actions they are doing against you. Do you want to change it? Okay, watch the nature as I started this little chat. See how dolphins, dolphins are behaving. See how whales are behaving. See how fish, flock of fish or like school of fish is going freely, wandering around, yet just doing their own free dance without exercising authority one over the other. So why we why we bred like this? Can you just guess why we bred to be superior over anything. Sometimes we behave that we are superior over a chair or over a hamster that we keep in a, in a little cage and we are so superior over our dog keeping it on a leash. Yet how many times I see people with the dogs walking next to the sea on the path. Yet jokingly with Denise I said Look at these beautiful dogs took these stupid humans out for a walk. This is exactly what it is. Because we are so blindfolded by our superiority that we don't even want to consider this is all illusion. That we are better. That we are better than animals. That we are better than nature that we are created from. That we are better than some time Zimbabwe or Zambia, Zanibia country people. We are better than British, that we are better than Serbians or whoever. How come? Better than what? As soon as you reaching into this field of, let's say, competition, you are ruined as a human. You are ruined. You are absolutely minuscule leftovers of humanity inside of you. How many times you heard parents are saying, Oh, I like my daughter better than 
my other, do other daughter. I said, but they are twins. How do you know which one? Anyway, this is what the you know motherly love can do. Damage everybody. Because suddenly she realized that she, mother, has a chance to be superior over the children. Teaching. Look at the education. Teachers, let's say, 20, 30 years ago, 40 years ago, that I started kind of going into these fake schools, they were behaving like tyrants. You don't have your own opinion as a teenager, as a child. If you have somebody who flanked uh, the grades, as I did, have a guy who flanked, I think, seventh grade two times, so he ended up with me in the uh, in the seventh grade, three years older than I am. And he becomes superior because he's so bad, so he must be superior. He was the most difficult bully of all. I mean, he taught me such a beautiful lesson. An early age, like 12, 13, when I started really realizing how humanity is not fun being here. Look at the jobs. Look at any kind of military structure. This is like a pyramid a Ponzi scheme that you cannot believe. Look at the banking system. Who has the most money this year or who earned the most? Hundred most earners. Forbes makes a whole booklet of these stupid people. And what we do? We admire. We compete. We strive to become like them. In fact, them. Let them be whatever they want to be. Yet, why are we doing this? Because we do not find this inner satisfaction of who we really are. Because we've never been taught to look inside. To look in me, that you look inside of you and find something much more beautiful than any of the superior dudes that are dancing around you. Yet. They are just tricking you. And overall, the most challenging for me to describe is superiority of religious gods. In New Age, superiority of these fake masters, super angels, archangels, super duper double angels, agents, yeah, agents of the dark. So, why? We're so damned down. Simple reason. To be easily controlled. Because if you realize that you cannot be controlled by seeing everybody around you equal, that you don't put your, let's say, knowledge or your achievements above anybody else's. Making bread is to me the same achievement as writing a software program. Making bed is the same achievement as cooking the most beautiful meal. Writing a poem is to me the same as creating any kind of, you know, high mathematic structure, pyramids. So, there's no better or there's no worse. This is you, this is me, individually, who are putting ourselves above others. As soon as we put ourselves above other being, other creature, we're becoming lesser than somebody else. Because there is, in this structure, there is always somebody above you. This is where church really utilized a human stupidity. Or human gullibness, like we are so gullible, we have to follow somebody, something that is better than us, that is more full than we are, that more holy that... I mean, when people say, holy shit, what does he mean? They just God have a poop. Simple. When you get surprised, what you say? Oh my God! 
Yet which one? The left one? The Buddhist one? The one in the skirt? One with a big beard? Or maybe it's she? Or maybe it is an alien? Of course, these are fake gods. Most of my knowledge are aliens. And they live in these kind of structures. They live in structures where superiority is a mandatory behavior. I would say human behavior, but let's say these are not humans. So they come here, they cannot sell you. They come here ugly, tall, short, you know, with three fingers instead of seven that most of the humans have. Yeah. What they do? They hide under human skin and because they have some kind of better, better knowledge than you do they take over certain positions and they put themselves above you not telling you all the truth so the only way only way to become absolutely equal we have to start telling the truth no matter what we have to tell humanity the truth what is really happening around us. I know it will take time, take years, maybe decades, to trickle this down to every single living human on the planet to know the real truth. Who was among us, who is still among us, and why they were hiding their legs and arms and tentacles and antennas and whatever they had as a other kind of creatures. They don't really look like humans, but they pretend to be. So, again, reason is they want to be superior by the things they know and they don't want to disclose to you. So, simple. Watch nature and you'll see there's no superior being there. Not a single one. But the stupid humans who pretend they're so superior over everything and everybody, even about the gods, about the true God. <laughs>